Time to throw down. Yeah. Hey everyone, I'm Jackie Jing, and we are here at EVO 2023. And let's take a look at what's happening at the Riot booth and the upcoming Project L. I'm with Sean Rivera with Riot Games. This is amazing. Like, I'm just overwhelmed at how awesome Project L is. I am also overwhelmed at the turnout and the reception we got from all the players. The team's put a lot of effort in, and it's uh, it's meant a lot that they've shown up in this way. I mean, the line is all the way around the booth. There's just so much enthusiasm here. And the public is playing this for the first time, correct, here at EVO? Yeah, that's correct. Uh, this is the first time we've let like just anybody come and play the game. and. Uh, yeah, I've been uh, extremely impressed just by how many people wanted to play and how excited they are to talk about it. Okay, talk to me a little bit about 2v1. Like, why did you all decide to go down that road? We think it's more fun to play games with your friends. And it's always tough when you're trying to play a fighting game with a friend and maybe one of you is better than the other. And someone's probably going to have a bad time or maybe they don't want to play anymore. So we thought, what if uh, you could play together? But a lot of people that play fighting games, they just want to play by themselves too sometimes. So. It was important for us that 1v2 can also work well. I love this. Thank you so much, Sean. Yo, thank you so much for having me. I really appreciate it. Yay, bye. Go with the wind. Trust me. Oh, my God. Oh, Echo. Yeah, get him, Echo. Oh, I lost. I won. I won. Well, um, let me tell you what my tactic was. Button mashing. Um, no, but honestly, I really loved Ari. I thought that her movement was like really fluid and smooth, and she had a lot of range, which I, I loved. But when I was playing Echo, I felt like some of his hits, I could feel the heaviness of it, you know? It's really impressive how they've translated the MOBA stuff into this game. I, and that's like the biggest part, right? It's like we already love these characters, and then just seeing them come to life in this different way, it's just so awesome. Also, I love being able to like change up their skins. It's a cool system. I really like it a lot. So. Uh, honestly, for us, like not knowing anything and just walking up, and having a pretty tight match and it actually being really fun. It looked, it looked impressive. Our skill's not so impressive, but it looked no, impressive. Definitely. But we had fun. I had a great time. That was yeah. awesome. It was so cool, so. All right, I am with Chris Roberts with Riot Games. And okay, I just played, absolutely loved the experience, but this booth is amazing. And you were talking to me about all the detail that went into each of these stations. Yeah, that's right. We, we thought about everything when it came to the booth. We thought about how high these desks and kiosks had to be, how wide they had to be to enable our duo gameplay, two versus two, how high up the screen should be. So all of that thought went into how we built this, this desk for this game, for this moment. So what has reaction been like? I mean, I was telling you earlier, the line is immense. There's so many people dying to play this game. It's been amazing, actually. There's a sense of like relief and satisfaction and just joy. Is there anything that you want to say to the fans watching at home who are like, couldn't be here at EVO, but are dying to get their hands on this? Just wait, it's coming soon. Yay, okay, thanks so much, Chris. Thanks so much for joining us. Subscribe and stay tuned to the PlayStation Esports channel for everything EVO and FGC. PlayStation.